Could you touch up, touch up my blush? <laughs> there you go, there you go. There you go. Good, good, we're, good. We're going to paint the town green and gold today. I love it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's paint some glazes on All some right. ham. Yeah, let's do it. You know, I've got a couple, uh, I've got a couple, actually a couple whole chickens on the grill. Okay. And we're not going to uh, take a gander at those because I want to get them done. And they sure. take about an hour and 15 minutes. Indirect method of cooking. On our large gas grill we have, it's the two outside burners are on, which I do have. The, ch the chickens are in the center. Okay. So we have a convection oven. Uh -huh. For you two burner gas grill people out there, you would put the chickens over here and the heat source is over here. Okay. But then you need to rotate the chicken a little bit because the heat's all in one side. Gotcha. Here we have a convection oven. We don't need to do that. Okay. But during the cooking process, I've got some Sprite, about a cup of uh, Sprite in there. And I'm going to do a little Asian. Actually, last night, I tried an experiment. I took some Sprite and ginger mm. and I marinated the chicken overnight in it. Okay. So, so it's going to have a, a little bit sweeter flavor, but it's an Asian. So we have a little bit of soy sauce in there. I'm going to add a little more ginger in my Sprite. And I'm going to add some garlic in there. Ooh, there and you we always go. need to add a little oil. So we chose toasted sesame oil today. Nice. So a little toasted sesame oil in there just to give it a little bit of glaze over the top of the chicken as I'm cooking. And that's what I'm going to base on my whole chickens as I'm cooking. Cool. Good. I'm going to spray it up. I love it. And you've got some uh, yeah, yeah, over there. Yeah, we're going to ham it up today. You know, a really easy thing to do on the grill. You know, everybody wants to make sure that they don't screw something up to a grill. There's no way you can screw up the ham. Trust me. You do it the indirect method of cooking. Uh, if you'd like, you go ahead and score the ham. But I'm going to make a glaze today, which is very easy to do. I'm going to start with some brown sugar. Now, you could go ahead and measure it if you'd like. I just sort of throw the whole thing together. But I probably got myself a good, probably, I would say, way over half a cup, maybe even closer to a cup of brown sugar. Now, you can make a thick glaze, but this is going to be very sweet. I'm using Pepsi. And, uh, Max. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the Max, man. I feel like a scientist on there, because you actually got the two sugars that are reacting there. Three what sugars. Is? Sugar. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, if you'd like, I like using, uh, use some nutmeg. And now, the, I've got some ground cloves. Mm -hmm. So you can place whole cloves on here, but I like using ground cloves because it really adds a good flavor. And that way, you don't have those whole cloves that you get stuck in your teeth all the time. Right. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Now, if you'd like, you can sweeten it up more with a little bit of honey. So I'm going to use a little bit yes, of juice. Dear? Yes, dear. <laughs> a little bit of pineapple juice. I like that. All right, now you're going to stir that up. And the best way to taste this, the best way is you take this little thing right here, and nobody's looking, you step it in there, and you all... Mmm, that's perfect. Okay. It smells <laughs> good, you guys. No! <laughs> we have to eat that. Oh, that's oh, good. That's all right. That's good. That's, you guys are like family. Yeah, that is like, oh, oh yeah. Wow. It's like, you know, when you drop something down, you pick it up, you put it back in there again. So. And take a look at the screen, you guys, because at 930, you can watch Mad Dog and Meryl yes. on the CW with their own show. And we're going to be right back. You're watching Good Day, Wisconsin.